Hello! In this brief tutorial, you will learn how to set up a Raspberry Pi as a CodeSys PLC. In the first step, we use the Raspberry Pi imager available at raspberrypi.org to write the Raspberry Pi operating system to the SD card that will be later used in our system. Here, we select Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64-bit. To do so, we need to define a hostname, enable SSH, and set up a password. Then we can write the data to the SD card. Next, we open the CodeSys installer, which has been included with all CodeSys installations since Service Pack 17, and install the CodeSys Control for Raspberry Pi add-on. Open the Deploy tool via the Tools menu and select the Communication tab. Connect to your target's device via SSH using the IP address. Once connected, an overview of the device data is displayed under Device Information. If needed, you can restart the operating system on the device using the Reboot button. There, you can Access the installed Linux packages using the Package Management button. You can uninstall or install packages by selecting them. For installation, you must download .dep files and install them on the host system using the Package Management. In the Deployment tab, you can now install packages and images on the desired platform. You will also find an overview of the packages that are already installed on the device. Proceed by installing the components you need. In our case, the runtime for Raspberry Pi. The tool automatically suggests only those products that are supported by the target device, helping to prevent compatibility issues, for example, due to the CPU architecture. You may also be prompted to install an edge gateway on the Raspberry Pi this step is optional, as the gateway on the engineering PC can also be used. Once the installation is complete, the runtime system is ready for immediate use. In the Operation tab, you will find all installed services and their statues. You can load and view the CodeSys log. On the right-hand side, in the Settings section, you can configure the instances based on your needs and the requirements of the individual services. Once the status of the runtime system has changed to running, we can connect to the runtime in CodeSys. After creating the user login to the Raspberry Pi, download the application to the controller and start it. Using the same IP address as in the deploy tool, the web visualization can now be accessed via port 8080. When an instance is no longer needed, it can simply be stopped and deleted. This helps to maintain a clean overview and saves resources. Thank you for watching this video.